you guys welcome back to my channel welcome to another makeup tutorial in this makeup tutorial we're going to be using the new morphe 35v palette this is part of the duo the 35m and the 35v came out and this one is called the stunning vibes palette and this is what this palette looks like it's a lot more muted a lot more wearable than the last palette than the 35m so if the 35m wasn't your um kind of like color scheme because of the greens this one's going to be a little bit more wearable there's a ton of neutrals so the first four one two three four rows are all neutral shades with a bunch of different like tans and and um, lighter shimmery shades over here and then you get your dark coppers and bronzes down here your matte warm shades over here and then it starts to gradually go into the purples and then the blues so you guys know i'm i'm like a purple girl so there's some purples there's some berry colors right here in the middle of the palette and then the last two rows are all pretty much blue and then there's like some teals up here now the teals in this palette like drew my eye so i think that's what i'm going to be doing instead of doing like a neutral look because if you have the 3502 palette you don't really need this palette because this palette is pretty much like i know that spice in this palette down here is like one of my favorite shades out of the 3502 so that is one of the one of the shades in this palette i think um in lust no no, not lust. No, I don't think that shade is in there. Um, heat is like some of these shades in the warmer shades are in the 3502 palette already. So if you have that palette, then you don't really need to buy this palette. But if you do love purples and teals and blues, this palette has a ton of those. So that is this palette. It does come with a film sheet of names, but I usually tape it to the back of my palette. So that way when I'm doing a tutorial for you all, you guys can see, or I'll be able to tell you guys the names of the shades and you guys will be able to kind of like go long if that makes any sense <laughs> um i'm gonna go ahead and prime my lids i'm just gonna use my mac pro longer concealer and then i'm gonna set that down with my next translucent setting powder and then we will go ahead and get started on the makeup if you aren't already subscribed please go ahead and hit that subscribe button it would mean the world to me you'll join our fan bam we don't have a name yet like i, I don't know what i want to call like my subscribers but join the fam anyways so that way you'll know and also hit the post notification bell so that way you'll know whenever i post a video which is usually monday through friday Friday. If not Monday through Friday, then it's usually four days a week. So usually like Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, or Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and nothing on Friday. But usually you get anywhere between four to five videos a week. So I'm going to go ahead and prime my lid now. So this shade is very pretty, but this eye look is ugly as fuck. Like I'm about to take this shit off like right now and just do something neutral because this is, this is not cute and it's not turning cute and I don't know what I was thinking and like, no. We're just gonna do something easy, y'all. All right, so this is what I came up with. I completely changed directions. Um, I don't know, that last look was just, it was too early, you know? When it's before 10 o'clock, I can't get things together. It's still before 10 o'clock, but I swatched a couple of swatches on my hand and the one I decided to go with is this one. It's like a pink with a gold shift. This one up here is actually a pink in the pan. It's actually this one right here. And you can't really tell because my lights are too bright, but it looks super, super, super gold. So I decided to go with that. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing over here. So let's hope it all works out. Okay, so like before, um, or like always i should say i'm gonna take spice right down here at the bottom of the palette i'm gonna take the jh30 this is my favorite transition shade um really honestly it's taken over like um any other shade like my sienna from abh morocco from abh cabin fever from uh, makeup geek coco bear from makeup geek like it's taken over everything i just love how it's orange, but it's kind of like a muted orange. I don't know. It's just so nice. No matter how much I pile on this color, it doesn't like ever seem to be too much. So I just love this shade. And of course, this JH30 is so fluffy. It gets in this eye socket really nice. And I know some of you guys might be like, why is she always using these Jaclyn Hill brushes? Like a lot of you guys 
might have bought this brush set. I know some of you guys did and I don't want to like have you guys buy something or recommend something to you all and then just stop using it. I don't think that's right. I think that's kind of bullshit. So I think it's kind of, um, I think it's right to continuously use the, the products that you recommend, you know? Because people spend their hard earned money, money. <laughs> on these uh on this makeup you know and makeup is not cheap and people got bills and i don't want to be blamed for nobody's problems bills credit card bills and nothing so i try to use what i recommend to you guys so now i'm gonna take this shade tr trist 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 i think it's trist trist i think it's trist uh it's like a berry kind of purpley shade and i'm gonna take that on a jh35 and i'm really gonna pile this color on this is going to be what peeks through underneath of the black. Okay, so this look was only supposed to be like this transition shade, this purpley shade, and like a dark deep purple. But the dark deep purple wasn't showing up as I needed it to, so I had to scratch that and apply a little bit of black. And then a little bit of black turned into a lot of bit of black, so y'all know the drill. Y'all know how it goes. It just, yeah. <laughs> So I'm gonna really build this color up. I always focus a lot of my color in this inner portion. It's just something that I like to do. I just think that it looks really good. But if it's not something you're comfortable with, then of course don't do it. But I'm definitely gonna blend this color and build it up really nicely. Okay, so now I'm gonna take a little black book right down here in the bottom. I'm just gonna take it little by little because the bulk of it, um, the bulk of it I applied after I did eyeliner and eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna take a little bit here and I'm kind of doing like a rounded type look. So um, starting out in the outer V and just winging it around a little bit, not too much. Then I'm gonna take Addicted right down here. It's this maroon shade. And I'm gonna use that with a JH40 to help blend it out. So this is just going to get in there, get in that nook and cranny and blend that shade out a little bit. It's so hot in this room and all these lights, even with a tank top and no bra on. I'm like, I got boob sweat and it's hot, but I don't wanna have my fan on because you can hear it. Like my microphone picks it up really well and I don't like that. So I'm just burning up over here, y'all. So that's all I'm gonna do for right now with this. And now I'm going to do a half cut crease. Go ahead and cut it with my MAC Pro Longer Concealer. All right, so our crease is cut. I'm gonna take this beautiful shade right here called Heartbreaker. It's so, 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 so pretty. And my base is still tacky, so that way the eyeshadows have something to stick to, and it's gonna look a little more wet and foiled. And this shade has a gold shift to it, so it looks pink, but it has a gold shift. And what I've noticed about this palette is I, I when I was reading the little the little sheet that it came with, it said um, they're to die for duochromes. I didn't realize it until I swatched the shades. Most of these shimmer shades or all of them are all duochrome and I didn't realize that. So I was just like, wow, like that is awesome. I would definitely pick up this palette over the 35M just personally, like especially if I knew that they were dual chromes, because dual chromes in general are more expensive because it it takes more uh, more work to create them. So I would definitely pick up a, a twenty three dollar eyeshadow palette full of dual chromes as opposed to um, a regular eyeshadow palette with a lot of greens. If that makes any sense, I just definitely prefer this palette over the other one. Um, and this palette is more my speed. 
The other palette I feel like had more purples, which I do love, love, love my purples. And this one has more blues, but I also love my blues. But these duochromes are just amazing. And you can't get these in every palette. Like, not a lot of brands create duochromes. So, I know Makeup Geek has a lot of duochromes. I love their duochrome pigments. And then, um, Morphe has this palette. And I think that might be it as far as I, I know. So now I'm going to take this Sigma eyeliner and it's called Line Ace. Um, it's called Legend and I'm just going to literally draw a line straight across and it's going to blend into the eyeliner in the, um, in the outer edge. Now I'm going to take more of a little black book on the JH38 pencil brush and stamp this right out here on the outer edge. This black is black. Holy cow. I'm also going to take the JH43. And just use that to stamp right over the cut of the crease. I'm not gonna go all the way in. I'm gonna go pretty far in, but not all the way. So to about like right there. And then I'm gonna use this pencil brush. I have mosquito bites everywhere and I just wanna itch them and then it hurts. Ugh, oh, I'm in so much pain. I'm just gonna start to lightly blend this upwards and then I am going to go back in with tri trist 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 and just use that fluffy e38 e jh40 where, where did they get e from jh40 and just use that to blend over and help blend it out And I'm not applying any more on this pencil brush, just kind of using it very light handedly just to help blend the shades and just continue to go back and forth. Like I have these two brushes in my hand and I just switch between the brushes just to kind of further blend and help. And then I'm really packing the black out in the outer edge. And then I'm just gonna take a little bit more of. Oh shit, wait. Okay, so this is, okay. So this is tr Trist, or Trist, this shade right here. T-R-Y-S-T, -R Trist. And this one is Addicted. So I was, I had to mix that, oops. But I'm gonna take a little bit more of Trist, that berry color, and just go over the top. to blend and then I'm gonna take this JH31 with a little more spice just on the tip and just use that over the top and there you have it we made it work we made it work so I'm gonna apply some mascara and I'm gonna put on these soul snatcher lashes from uh, more lashes by Tiffany these are like my favorites so I'm gonna pop those on do my face and then I will be right back for lips and lower lash line all right, you guys, so I'm going to take this Rimmel London eyeliner in black and pop this into my waterline. I figured I might as well smoke this out like I did the top. So I might as well just keep it going. This black, y'all, is like black as fuck. I used it to go over my eyeliner. And it, it, it it's quite intense, y'all. So I'm just using the same flat definer brush. And I'm just gonna connect it out here and then just go ahead and smoke it out. But I am making sure to tap off the excess so that way this black doesn't fall, which it already is still. I am gonna, t whoa, okay, so all of that got on my brushes. I'm gonna take this pencil brush, I have no product on it, and just use that to kind of blend it out. And connect it. Okay. 
And then I'm gonna take the same JH40 with the Addicted shade, which is the maroon shade, and just go underneath. And use that to blend. And for shits and giggles, I'm gonna take tri Tris, Tris? And go underneath as well. And that was the berry color. Just so you get some of that color under there as well. So now that I've used that color, I am going to go back in with a little bit more of Little Black Book. Just to tight line, like right. Just to keep that black nice and black. Because once it gets blended out, it kind of fades away. And I want to make sure that it stays pigmented. And the last and final step is an inner corner highlight. And I'm going to take this shade right here. It's called Three Little Words. And it's pretty golden. I'm going to take that on the JH39 pencil brush. Pop that in the inner corner. This color is just amazing to me because it looks pink, like a light pink in the pan. But once you apply it onto the eye or on the skin, it turns into a gold. And I was going to do like an ombre look with this color and the color that I have on. But then I decided against it. So the final step is lips. And I'm going to take this clean color lip liner in brown just to line my lips. And then for lipstick, I'm going to take this. Oh, it's got eyeshadow all over it. Okay, I don't know what these are called. What are these called? These are the Dose of Colors, like, I don't know, lip creams or something. This is in the shade Mocha. I really like this color. Yes, oh my gosh, I like this color. I like, I forget how much I like some lipsticks because I usually go on with like my nude or my like favorite color, but this, oh my gosh, I really like that. I'm just gonna go back over a little bit on the outer line with my lip liner, but that brown lip liner just kind of makes it like just kind of grounds it a little bit. And I'm going to take a little bit of gloss. I'm going to take this number 7 High Shine Lip Gloss. And this is in the shade Sparkling Rose. I can work with that. <laughs> Alright you guys. So this is the completed look. What do you guys think? What do you think of this palette? Are you going to buy this palette? Once again, this palette, which is the 35V, is specifically sold in Ulta, and it will be releasing or launching on the 23rd of September, so this Sunday, I believe. But I'm going to have this video up on Friday, so you should see this video on Friday. But I'd love to know your thoughts. Let me know what you think of the look, what you think of the palette, everything like that. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.